I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friend out there. I hope you are doing all right around the world. If you are new, subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss what's coming. Let's talk about football. What is going on? Some good stuff to talk about, you know. Sometimes when I sit down and remember where we're coming from, it's a long way. I was giving you bad news all the time. You remember, guys? Grand Porter time, bad news after bad news. Frank Lambert came in, bad news after bad news. But now, it looks like we are going to the right direction with Mauricio Pototino. Honestly, I didn't think Pototino is going to be that manager. I was going to speak like what he's speaking right now. He's speaking the right thing. This is the speech every Chelsea fan wants to hear about winning trophies, you know. Chelsea is about winning. And not just to win a game and you go sleep, you wake up in the morning, you come to the training again, you know, get your muscles back and then you go home and then if... No, 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 not like that. Chelsea is about winning a trophy. You go in the season, you try to win the Premier League, you go win the FA Cup, you go win the Club Cup, Champions League. This is what Chelsea stands for and Mauricio Pochettino knows that. <laughs> so I'm so glad we got the manager who speaks truth. Look, Portotino at Tottenham and Portotino at Chelsea, the way he speaks right now and the way he spoke at Tottenham, it's just different. And I think we have a right manager right at the moment. And the players we have, Santos, Casadi, you know, these new guys are in the team right now, Levy Cornwell, they're all turning good. This was a plan to buy players who can play for Chelsea. Those players who didn't want to play for Chelsea, they're all gone. They're all sold out. We have sold the entire starting 11, if you look, if you go search, you know. It is crazy, but this is a plan and we are starting afresh. This is why <clears throat> we are seeing performance after performance after performance. We are performing very well because of new players. They don't know about the shenanigans we went through last season. They don't. It's all about playing for Chelsea. And they know the history of the club is to win the trophy after trophy. This is the history. If you go into the Chelsea uh, cabinet, you find a lot of trophies, you know. Find a lot of things. You, you can't even count them. It's, it's just too much to count. <laughs> I can't wait for the Premier League to start. First, with Liverpool. <laughs> It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be so, so happy if we win the first game against Liverpool. Right now, a lot of people, they're not expecting Chelsea to do much because of last season, how we went. So it's like the focus is not on Chelsea. The focus is on Manchester City most and Arsenal because Arsenal came close to win the Premier League last season. This is where the focus is. This is why Chelsea is not even there. But something is happening, I think. Something is happening. A lot of people, they don't know how important Nicholas Jackson is in this Chelsea team. Nicholas Jackson is going to become a very, very, very good striker. Wow. Well, just wait and see. Just wait and see. If we win against Liverpool, a lot of people, they're going to be like, say, looking, what? What is this? <laughs> What is going on here? Wait, wait, wait. Let's focus on Chelsea. No, 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 no. This can happen. This can happen. <laughs> if we win against Liverpool, it's going to be a big statement. A big one. Yeah. As I said, it's good. We, start, we started with a trophy. Although it's a Premier League summer series. I know it doesn't mean anything. It's good we started with that. Start with success and you end with success. And this is the plan, my dear. If you start with a trophy, you end up with a trophy. And I think this season coming, I think we'll finish in top four. We'll see. You, we can even go further because Manchester City, they look shaky in defense. They look shaky. Atletico Madrid, they play Manchester City. I think two days ago, Atletico Madrid won 2 1. But the way Atletico Madrid played that game, and the way City play their game, you know, they don't just sit down and wait for counter-attack like Atletico Madrid like to do. I was thinking, okay, maybe Atletico Madrid, they're going to just sit down and wait uh, for City to make a mistake so they can, they, they can just make a counter-attack. But they didn't do that. They went all for it. 
And at the same time, you think Manchester City, they're going to, you know, pressure my, uh, Atletico Madrid because this is what Manchester City likes. If they are playing with a team that likes to sit back, they will, <laughs> they will destroy you. They, they, they will just, pff, I, I don't even know the words to say. We know what City can do, right? Yeah, so I just, you know, feel like I mentioned that. So we know where Chelsea is going. I think we're on the right path. We are on the right path. Once again, in a long time, I can breathe a little bit, a little bit until the season starts, <laughs> until we start winning some trophies. Yeah, let me know down in the comment what do you think. Now let's go to the transfer market. What is going on? As I said, let's start with Ari Kane. What is going on? Check out this. More on Ari Kane. Understood. Bayern package is around 95 million now with possible add-ons included. Kane could get a contract until 2028 with option included. No doubt he could become the top earner of the club. He could replace money with it. No new meeting between Bayern and Levy scheduled yet, but all parties are confident to find an agreement as Bayern plans to improve the offer. Bayern plan to improve the offer. I think Harry Kane will go to Bayern. This looks very, 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 very likely. <laughs> he will go to Bayern. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see Ari Kane in Bundesliga. I, I, I think, you know, the German football and the English football, I think the German football is a little bit softer for what I see. So I think Ari Kane will find it good in uh, Bayern Munich over there. This is why they sold Sergio Mane. They wanted Ari Kane. And I knew that. That mistake Mane made, fighting with Sane, that was an excuse for Bayern Munich to just say, okay, who saw them? We can't allow this behavior here. Look, but players, they always fight. We don't know what, what is happening behind, you know, when, when they, are, they are training. There is no camera all the time. Every club, players fight, you know, <laughs> like this. So for Bayern to do that with Mane, I think that was just not fair. This is just my opinion. I don't think that was fair, you know? A player just didn't even spend like, he spent one year there or two years, something like that, I don't remember. But he didn't spend a long time there and then boom, we don't like you. Because of one mistake, just sad, very sad. But he's in Saudi playing with Cristiano Ronaldo there and it's gonna be great to see Mane. I'm gonna start watching the Saudi football because the Saudi football is just it's blowing my mind. I'm excited and I can't wait to see how the Saudi is gonna turn into. <laughs> in uh, five, six years from now, you'll see the Saudi is gonna be on top three in the world. Right now, number one is the Premier League. Right now, the Premier League does not go down. It's always on top, always on top. And then the next one you can say La Liga there, but yeah. Let me know down in the comment, what do you think about Harry Kane to Bayern? Looks like it's gonna happen very soon. So Tottenham fans, yep, get ready. So let's go to another update. Let's see what's going on. Seon Litana Sporting Director Morgan D. Sanstic, we are interested in Andre Santos, but Chelsea made a major investment and have decided that he will be part of the first team. Things you love to hear. This is great. You can see in the preseason, Andre Santos, how he's moving the ball, how he's getting to spaces, how the guy is so good. He's, how, much, how old is he? He's 21, right? 21 or 22, something like that. And he's very mature. He's playing like he's 27 or 29. So mature in the midfield. He's well linked up with Enzo Fernandez. It's crazy to see how this guy is moving the ball. Wow, he deserves to play in the first team. I think Cassidy is the guy to go on loan. So yeah, I would want Cassidy to go in the Premier League on loan. You know, not to go to uh, Leicester City because there's a link. Leicester City, they, they want Cassidy on loan. They're in the championship, you know. He needs the Premier League football and he needs like... Um, a team in the Premier League so he can, you know, grow. He can feel the feeling of the Premier League, not the feeling of a championship. Get out of here, Esther. <laughs> so that is an update. Let me know what do you think in the comment about Santos staying at Chelsea. Things you love to see. 
check out another update. Now, there was a word ceremony on Brighton side, you know, giving their players appreciation how they did last season and all the other stuff. And there was something said about Moses Casado, and I was like, yeah. Tell them Moses Casado, let them know, let them know that stop the shenanigans. <laughs> so he said this. Moses Casado has admitted to guests at the Brighton 2022-2023 awards evening that he wants to leave this summer. It was claimed by one of the guests that the 21-year-old didn't hold anything back about his desire to depart on permanent deal. What else can I say? I have said enough. <laughs> I have said enough about Brighton to let Moses Casado, so I think he said it all. What else can I say? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. That's enough. Let's check out another update. Moses Casado agent recently made a 24-hour trip to America to hold a meeting with Brighton, as revealed, was always likely in hope of a breakthrough was made clear. Casado wants slash CFC. Brighton stuck to their position but talks teamed positive. Chelsea intend to hold again. Wow, that's a big effort. 24 hours. Do you know when you're sitting on the plane or on the bus for 24 hours how it feels like? <laughs> just to, make, to go make a progress on something, just to go make a statement or just to go make a situation bad one into a good one <laughs> it's a lot of effort a lot of work and a lot of concentration because it's crazy especially if you are a pilot you're driving a plane for 24 hours you know if other pilots are sick and you just it's just you it's it's just wow <laughs> it's crazy crazy so this guy made 24 hour trip to america to go talk to brighton because they're in america doing the pre-season so yeah Moses Casado deal is going to happen. No matter what it takes, it will happen. The only thing here, Chelsea, they have added a goalkeeper. Brighton goalkeeper to the negotiation. So it's going to take a long time now. So let's see what's going to happen. This is going to go to the deadline day. And then we're going to hear you. Here we go. It's going to happen. I will give you every update about Moses Casado. I won't get tired. Don't get tired. I'm sorry. I apologize, but I will give you. <laughs> I will give you the update about Moses Casado. If the update comes new one, then we we'll, we we'll talk about it. As I said always, I have to spit it out because I don't want to hold in my stomach, right? Spit it out. <laughs> Let's go check to another update, guys. Now, this guy update again. Check out this. Juventus feel they have a strong position in negotiation as Romero Lukaku already said yes to them. It is now up to Chelsea to decide if they want to pay 40 million. I did not know that. For Varovic. Okay. Okay. I thought Juventus, they are coming to Chelsea to do a swipe deal between Varovic and Chelsea, but no money to pay. This is what I thought all this time. I was giving you update on this, guys. I think if you've been watching my video up to the end. I did not know that. That there is money. They, we have to pay money, 40 million, and give them Lukaku, so they give us Varovic. That's too much. This is too much. This is why Chelsea, they're holding it. They don't want to do that. That's too much to give 40 million to them and get Varovic. And we don't really need Varovic. We don't need him. It's just we did. We just want to get Lukaku out of the club. That is it. But to pay 40 million to them and to get Varovic, shut up, shut up. That's too much. That is way too much. Maybe if they say 25 million, Chelsea can entertain that. They can say, okay, that's fair. We can even drop it to 20 million. This is how the value have dropped for Lukaku because the guy doesn't stop burning bridges everywhere he goes. This is why the price dropped. Lukaku, a great striker, but the guy, oh my gosh, my God, what word can I say? What word can I say? <laughs> oh my God. If I speak Italian, I'll start speaking Italian because Lukaku can hear me in Italian. He knows how to speak Italian, you know? 
The only thing I know is manager, manager, Lukaku, manager. I have no idea what does that mean, but I know it's Italian. Manager, Lukaku, manager. My goodness. <laughs> I will see you soon, guys. Have a lovely day. Don't forget to subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss anything. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day. And God bless you.